Hi and welcome to Duniload, the advanced dialog engine for Unity. Today I'm giving you a quick overview about what this engine actually does and then we'll make a small tutorial. So let's begin. Usually in a game engine it works like this. The writer writes his lines in an external tool and then sends it to the game designer. The game designer implements these lines, how they fit into the game and then sends everything to the programmer who has to program the actually dis um, displaying of the, the dialogues, how they look and feel in the game. In Dynalog it works a little bit different. With every line the writer writes, he gives a hook to the game designer to add prefabs and gives a hook to the programmer so the programmer can add scripts. The game designer can then add into the prefab stuff uh, like particle effects or load characters or whatever he wants. And the programmer can add his scripts either to the prefabs of the game designer or directly with a hook from the writer. The programmer can also change how Dewey look behaves and displays the displays the dialogue. So how does this actually work in practice? Here we have an empty scene where Dunilog is already loaded and I added some assets that I will publish under the link in the description of this video. Um, if you have Dunilog in your scene you go, can go to window and into the Dunilog window. Here we create a new project. For this we need a new folder which we call tutorial. And now we can start to make our dialogues. First we need some scenes. So our first scene is called Medieval City. Now we need some actors. First we add a player character. Then we add our NPC which is called Maria. And now we add an uh, announcer or somebody, um, some unnamed person, so we can add dialogues without any, without the player or Maria. For this, we just tap space three times and save. Now we have our three actors. You could also give them an image that would be displayed in the dialogue. Now we cre uh, we create our first node. This is a typical text node and we can we can directly write the text here. We'll start with Maria saying Hi, I'm Maria. Now we add our second node. This time the player re responds. We connect these two nodes and give the player a multiple choice dialogue so he can um, so because this is a video game and we want some interaction. So his first question is who are you? Now if we want a second note, we click on add and say where am I? And we're done. These notes are also variable. You can you can you can make them smaller or wider however you need need them. And here we have our hooks. So Maria will respond to who are you with I told you I'm Maria. And now we want to go back to them um, to this node, so we use a jump node. This is node one, so we select node one and hook it up. So now we create another node, uh, no jump node, text node, where am I? Look behind you. And this is enough for the beginning. Let's save and export. Okay, so now we have this tutorial folder, and in this tutorial folder is the DUG manager. Select the DUG manager, and you will get these three instances. The first one, the DUG draw player, is the programmable part for the programmer. Here he can this, uh, he can decide how the, the dialogue is actually displayed in the game. This is just some um, um, some variation of it, and you can enhance it or change it however you need it. 
Um, the second one, the interpreter, don't, um, is not important, don't touch it at the moment. The third one is the actual st stuff for the game designer, where he can hook up his prefabs and scripts. Here you have this list of execute, uh, executables. Here, for every single node, you will get one for um, one hook for the script and one instance which, where you can add the prefabs. So, now we need some, some prefabs for this scene. Okay, let's start by making some planes. One plane. And on this plane we will add a background. Okay. Go, let's go into the scene view and place it in front of the camera. We need to scale a little. And need to flip it so the camera actually sees it. Now we need a light. One directional light and our scene is lit. So our main camera is a perspective camera, so we should get it a little bit closer to the scene. Okay, now we have our background and we need a character now. Let's rename this plane to background so we don't get confused and add another plane. And on this plane, we will put our Maria character, saying hi. Now, on our scene, they are both on the same space, so we need to pull her a little bit forward, and then she's here. And to make a cutout, we need to add some transparency. And she's too big, so let's make her a little bit smaller. and position it on the ground. Okay. Now we need some prefabs, so we make a new folder, prefabs. And here we create prefab. Maria, hi. And pull it. And another prefab. Then we pull the background. So now that we have our prefabs, we need to hook them up in the DUG manager. But um, we shouldn't hook them up in the project file because then it will always get overwritten whenever you click save in the Dunilog window. So we pull the DUG manager into the scene and add our stuff here. So let's say in the first instance we load the background and in the second one we load Maria. Just for demonstration purposes. Let's click play and see what what happens. Here we have our window. Maria says hi. I'm Maria. Oh, the problem is I didn't delete them out of the scene. So let's delete them out of the scene and press play. Now it loads the first the background and if I play hi Maria, then she's then she's appearing. But this is not what we want. We want them both to load at the same time. So we clear this and make a new prefab. Um, first we go here and create an empty game object. Inside this empty game object we drop both prefabs and then we make a prefab out of this and make create prefab background 
and Maria. Now we can delete this. Select the DUG manager and hook up background and Maria and in the beginning. And now you see it will load both. Since I haven't zeroed it out, it won't, will be a little bit small, but now it's okay. And we'll hit apply, so it will be in the prefab. Good, now we have our scene and our character. And, in the, and we have the multiple choice dialog, but nothing actually happens. So, we open our project, select the tutorial folder, and here we have our, um, our dialog. We want something new happening here after he says look behind you. So we add a new text node and say uh, and select the announcer and say look behind you and spot a save. Hook it up. And hit export. Now we have this node 5, which should appear in our DUG manager here. See, here's node 5. And here we can load a new uh, a new plane. And on this plane, we will put our city. Good. Now, let's delete this one, so we actually see our city background and scale it. So, where is it? Where is it? Something is wrong. Ah, it's behind the camera. Not good. Alright, now we want to switch between these two backgrounds, so we go into the DUG manager, place this and make a, make a new prefab out of this. Alright, let's see what happens now. The city will be loaded, but it will be behind this background, so... If you rotate the camera, you can actually see what happens. We have every plane loaded and then we load the city in front of the um, of the other background. Now it should work. So now that you know how to do a basic um, scene change, I'll show you another feature with this different statuses. So 
here we have the who are you dialog. We change this to what are you. When Maria answers, I'm a warrior. <coughs> And we'll delete this connection and add a status here. Name knows about Maria. So Now here, we give the player the knowledge about Maria being a warrior, and we can ask about this with a third node. Can you fight? And on this node, we will check if Maria, if he knows about Maria. If he doesn't know about Maria, Maria will say something stupid like the. And if he um, if he knows about it, he will say, of course. And after the, of course, we will add a um, uh, remove node. We will collapse the remove and the ch check node probably soon, because you never need to remove without the check. But um, for the moment, you'll have to do it like this. Now let's connect this, these two nodes to the jump node. And our scene is set up. Now, can you fight the? No. What happens? You should jump back to node three. No, it's about one. Something went wrong. Okay. Can you fight? No. Goes back to the dialogue. What are you? I'm a warrior. Can you fight? Of course. And here you'll have the attribute knows about Maria. And if I click of course, the attribute is gone. You can use these statuses for keys or other um, uh, options in the game. You will yeah, you will probably have thousands of ideas what you can do with this. Now this was a basic setup to do a whole game without any scripts at all. Next time I will show you how to create a, uh, create a better game with some scripts because at the moment you would have uh, you would have lots and lots of planes over each other and overlapping, and this is not what we want. But as you can see, you can get pretty far without any scripts with Dunilog. Have fun. <laughs>